Hello and welcome to yet another exciting episode of the talk show. I'm your host, Siri Smith, coming to you from the showroom at Santon Auto. We have an extremely exciting lineup for this week, so let's not waste another moment. Buckle up because it's time to put pedal to the metal. Coming up on the show, we meet the facelifted Renault Captor and give you some options. We chat BMW G310R and we explain four-way intersections, finishing off with motoring news. We heard that the new Renault Captor has an assertive character with a finely honed design and a strong personality. We were intrigued and ordered one to test. Check this beauty out. the new Renault Captur Dynamic. Since its introduction in 2015, the Captur has a proven record in the market through its 6,500 units sold to date, with the automatic variant being extremely popular. A redesigned upper grille, finely chromed edging, as well as full LED pure saving lights and C-shaped daytime running lights. I am captured by her beauty and eager to test out her brilliance. I think it's time for a road trip. Honed design and strong personality of the new Captor are even further defined by additional funky colors, the striking new 17 inch black and chrome alloy wheels, and the impactful two tone bodywork, which is standard on the Dynamic models, accentuating the alluring curves of the Captor. The SUV attributes of the Renault Captor are evident by its raised ground clearance of 170 mm and elevated seating position, enhanced by the dominant new skid plates built into the front and rear bumpers with an optional fixed glass roof allowing for urban scapes to be appreciated from all angles. The aesthetically pleasing exterior enhancements of the new Captor are further complemented by the more inviting interior, adding more appeal to its MPV-like versatility and roominess. The new leather steering wheel and optional heated leather seats available on Dynamic models add to the qualitative feel while the more supportive seats ensure maximum driving comfort. The model on test today has heated seats. Additional improvements include discrete satin chrome trim, a new continuous shaped soft touch dashboard and interior panels which envelop the occupants, a newly designed gear lever, new multi-purpose central storage options plus an innovative new front row seat central armrest with a useful storage facility which is available on dynamic models, elevating the overall driving comfort and convenience factor. The small interior offers everything one needs at one's fingertips in order to enjoy the journey as much as the destination. The new Captor comes fully equipped with the Renault Media Nav touchscreen integrated tablet on Dynamic models, F1 inspired turbo engines, heel start assist and even keyless entry for added convenience. Other smart features such as rear park sensors, front and rear electric windows, auto headlamps with auto windscreen wipers, Bluetooth connectivity, easily accessible fingertip controls behind the steering wheel, cruise control and speed limiter and cornering headlamps make everyday life much easier. Easy access handles effortlessly slide the rear bench seat forward by up to 16 centimeters and it can also be folded flat. 
The maximum capacity of the boot, as seen when opening the hatch door, totals 377 litres, split by an innovative two-position boot floor with its cleverly hidden yet easy to access storage area. With the rear bench seat pushed to its forwardmost position, the overall capacity increases to 455 litres. With the rear seats folded down, the total maximum boot space measures a substantial 1,235 litres. With its SUV styling and persona, MPV-like practicality and the dynamism offered by a hatch, the new Renault Captur is sure to have an even greater appeal for SA motorists. The Renault Captur offers three turbo engine variants developed directly from Formula One technological expertise, combining driving pleasure with fuel economy. The model we tested sports a 1.2-litre four-cylinder 88-kilowatt turbo engine, which is now available in manual or automatic. Whether you combine it with the six-speed manual gearbox for great responsiveness or with the six-speed automatic EDC gearbox for greater comfort, this engine is responsive and agile, combining power and and controlled fuel consumption from only 5.4 litres per 100 kilometres. The model on test, however, sports a six-speed manual transmission. Other safety features include the anti-lock braking system, coupled with emergency brake assist, kicks in and automatically applies maximum brake pressure when an emergency braking situation is detected by excessive brake force and is able to shorten braking distance by up to 9 metres. The electronic stability program ensures vehicle stability and insists the driver to avoid possible loss of control, resulting from excessive speed or slippery road conditions. It detects and reduces loss of traction, reduces engine power and brakes on independent wheels in the event of loss of control. Standard passive safety features include high efficiency front airbags, head chest side bags, seat belts with pretensioners and force limiters in the front seats, anti-whiplash headrests and force limiter function which is in the rear side seats. Three Isofix three-point child seat anchor seat attachments are fitted to the front passenger and rear side seats. Now once you turn off the engine and you want to exit your vehicle, even though your card is your key card out, your windows are rolled up, there's this little alarm that's gonna keep reminding you that your door is in fact open. This carries on for a little while, but it will go off. Then there's also an option to switch off your passenger airbags, and you've also got next to, like I said, the button that you can choose to activate or deactivate to stop start. There's a button that you can actually adjust your headlights as well. Moving over to the back. Back space is plentiful. You've got enough legroom and headroom space. Nice and soft leather seats at the back. Three passengers can fit comfortably into the back, except if you do have long legs like me and you're gonna be stuck in the middle, then you will have a little bit of a legroom problem because the storage compartment that they put in the middle console for you to use is actually in the way of where your feet are supposed to be. If you can look past that, then you will love the fact that you've got an input where you can store, where you can plug your phone charger in, and you've got nice little storage compartments where you can put little books or something with the seat covers, and then on either side of the doors you can store smaller water bottles, as larger water bottles won't fit, but you do have cup holders. You've also got nice Isofix chairs at the back, so if you would like to strap in a baby seat at the back, you are also able to do so. Let me show you guys the boot. You're going to absolutely love the fact that there's a hidden compartment. So yes, there's lots of boot space, but you've got even more. <laughs> and then also the board is two different sides. So you've got a um, slippery side and one that is actually more controlled. So if you don't want anything moving about, then you are able to put the side facing upwards that will prevent your little bits from rolling around. So how much will a vehicle 
that is able to take you on many adventures, that's fuel efficient, fun to drive, putting you back under 300,000 Rand. Now we'd like to give you the consumer some options. So if you are in the market to buy, let's see whether any of the following options catch your fancy. But before we do that, let's check out the model lineup of the Renault Captur. And the model lineup includes Renault Captur 66 kilowatt Blaze, starting price 229,900. Renault Captur 66 kilowatt Dynamic, Starting price 269,900. Renault Captur 1.5 DCI Dynamic. Starting price 294,900. Renault Captur 88 kilowatt Dynamic. Starting price 294,900. Renault Captur 88 kilowatt EDC Dynamic. Starting price 309,900. Starting with the star of our show, the Renault Captur Turbo Dynamic which has a starting price of 294,900. It's 1.2-litre turbocharged petrol engine, pushes out 88 kilowatts of power and 190 newton meters of torque, which won't be too heavy on the bank, as it has a controlled estimated figure of 5.4 litres per 100 kilometres and a claimed average figure of 5.5 litres per 100 kilometres. The low fuel consumption numbers won't be the only peace of mind that you will get because you will also get four standard airbags. Or you could spend slightly more and opt for a Opel Mokka X Turbo, which has a turbocharged 1.4 litre petrol engine that pushes out a whopping 103 kilowatts of power and 200 newton meters of torque, consuming on average a claimed 5.9 litres per 100 kilometers. You will also get six standard airbags for your safety. Lastly, you could opt for the Ford EcoSport 1 litre T Trend, which has a starting price of 283,900. Its 1 litre turbocharged petrol engine pushes out 92 kilowatts of power and 170 newton meters of torque, which won't be too heavy on your pocket as the Trend consumes on average a claimed 5.7 litres per 100 kilometres. You will also get six standard airbags. It's now time to take a short break, but do stay tuned for more motoring action when we return.